Welcome to the Beyond Bitcoin Welter. Our Well Tank Hangouts start every Friday at 3 p.m. Universal Time. Be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steemit, as well as our Hangout host, Official Fuzzy, for the latest Well Tank updates. To participate in the discussion, simply find a weekly Well Tank RSVP post and RSVP with a topic or proposal in the comments. Whale shares create synergy between bit shares and Steam, are rewarding developers and helpful community members. The whale tank has already distributed over $70,000 in upvotes during its first month. You can also create and trade your own cryptographically secure whale tokens and get an automatic seat in the whale council. Whale shares work for the chain based on votes by the community. If you're interested in becoming a founding member of the whale council, let us know by sending an email to beyondbitcoin at gmail.com with the subject whale council. Be on the lookout for our new forums coming soon. Welcome to another Beyond Bitcoin Whale Tank. Today is Friday, August 25th, 2017, and this is episode 221. We're joined, as always, by various people who are interested in the crypto sphere and adding a tokenization and gamification element to the cool things that they're doing so they can enable an economic empowerment to build new and cool things in this thing that we call the internet of things that is growing around us. We are beyond Bitcoin and we have been here for a long time talking about precisely the use cases that go beyond Bitcoin. And we have a community of people who are so deep in various niches within this community and cryptocurrency in general and the new economy that they can be considered experts in their own right to a large degree. This is very early in the technology, but we, enable people who are interested in these various projects to be able to join up and talk about them. So if you are somebody who has a project that you would like to talk about what you're doing, you're more than welcome to RSVP on our official fuzzy blog, where you will see a whale tank RSVP thread. When you do this, pass out your link to the RSVP thread and have your fans or your project community, those who are passionate about what you do, have them upvote you, and this will help to establish the order of precedence for these hangouts. In addition, we have th something called power-ups that we are now using your tokens for. So there are a couple little rules that we have added to the hangouts, and one is that everybody will start out with 15 minutes to talk, but if you would like to buy an extra 5 to 10 minutes, you can share drop your token onto the guest list. And if the guest list, the people who sign the guest list, approve of your token share drop and everybody's cool with it, we will give extra time to you up to a 10 minute maximum. We will also enable you to help improve your chances to be first, second, or third in the order of these hangouts based on whether you have a bunch of upvotes from people based on the amount that you get but you can power up that and double it in effect for the order of precedence by using the link to your coin on the BitShares exchange. At the end of the Hangout, I choose to give out tokens to various projects, but I always choose to give 1,000 Beyond Bits to the topic of the week that I prefer to give some extra tokens to. If you believe that you are in a position where you have been overlooked wrongfully, you're more than welcome to leverage your token to try to get me to change that thousand beyond bits distribution. And you will have a seven day period to be able to do this. So with that said, the order of precedence that has been established today for today's whale tank hangout is first, it's going to be parity and that's going to be Forrest Willie followed by the Marky Mark and he's in project build a whale followed by Nutella, who's going to be talking about translations and a few other cool things that he's doing in the Steemit ecosystem and beyond. Nathalia also is going to come on and talk about community casinos. Now, I will say this. We are creating whale tokens now for a select few whales. If you have a whale who is interested in having their own token created, feel free to contact me and also let them know that they're more than welcome to create a token and join the whale tank as one of the whale reps. You have to have a whale token, and I can give details behind the scenes for it early on. It's not open for everyone. It's open by invite. So join up, message me at beyondbitcoin at gmail.com if you have an interest or a whale who is interested in being on the whale council and or having their own tokens. So with that said, 
we will go ahead and open it up for Pirity. And Crypto Hippie, would you uh, like to talk a little bit about any updates on the Purity project? And you have 15 minutes to go. Purity's been, we've been very busy at Purity right now. And um, part of that is getting ready for the crowd sale that's coming up. That will start on October 4th. That will be available to everybody. And it will end on November 2nd. And then I also have some updates on things that we're currently working on, which are also pretty exciting. One of those is pure identity is what we're calling it. And so a big problem, and these are all things that we, like we've created because we're creating an activity network. And in order to do that, you need a list of different services that you can provide to the users. So one of those is peer identity. And so that's gonna be basically a, a service that provides login and identification for on and off the blockchain. I'm sure you guys have been paying attention to all of the things that are going on right now that are about proving identity and putting identity on the blockchain. And we don't necessarily want to put your identity per se on the blockchain, but create an identity and prove that that's you, you. or that you own the identity. <laughs> right, exactly. So um, that's that's one of the big things that's going on in the blockchain world right now and even people as far as organizations as far as governments are trying to figure out how to do that and how we do it is um something that you would have to talk to bren more about he's definitely the technist um so i can't go too deep into um, i would say that it's like proving that you own any address which you can do on any blockchain you know basically encrypt your private keys and you can prove that you own an address by doing that so anyways uh the next one that i wanted to jump to is pure image service this is like to upload manage edit transform resize all images all all the selfies <laughs> you can definitely uh you know, manage and switch up all the sizes for all their images, but that's a hosting service basically. And Purity will offer that to its users, and because that is a you know, users are going to want to post images, and so that's a service that we are working on right now. Uh, the other one is a distribution. Uh, so this is a tokenized content distribution network. And, and this service basically it's content storage so it this is how we're going to this is how we're going to store content throughout the blockchain and certain you know peer servers are going to be able to say all right well i want to just dedicate my computing resources to something like peer image you know because it doesn't have to be super fast but it has to be reliable, and you don't need a crazy internet connection to uh, to provide the service. That was another thing that's being worked on. Also, peer storage. Peer storage is a service for either like public or encrypted data and storing that. And peer storage, you can also uh, retrieve that data. And so these are things that you can lend your compute resources too and another one is um, pure content and that's basically building off pure storage it's a headless content service for building your own content management server system so this is going to enable communities to host their own content so that's one of the big things of purity so we're we're gonna have all sorts of communities and each community is going to want to host it or host their content in different ways. And that's what pure content is about. Next up, we got Purity so, Private. Real quickly, is there going to be economic, private economic models between each community for this? Or is it going to be 
something that's going to be based all across purity. So there's a there's like a I'll call it a blanket economic model is um, because it covers all of the different communities, and then inside of that, people create communities that um, that can figure out their own ways of uh, of building their content management systems. So is there going to cool. be yeah yeah so it it, it will kind of work like that and um so yes yeah, so there's different economic models within that within perfect. each community perfect okay well, now I'll, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll step back and let you continue with the peer private see i'm sorry about that all good so that's <laughs> no no man feel free to ask any questions anytime and so yeah purity private is a uh service that hosts community under your own domain name so you know you can have your own domain name for your community so that it maybe doesn't necessarily look like you know you we're trying to make this look in a way however the communities want to design it and purity Pri private is um going to allow to domain names for just that so yeah so that's a one more cool thing that uh, we got going on. Then we have the Peer Notary. It's a service for writing data to the blockchain as a form of notarization for documents and like other digital assets. So you know you'll be able to um, again prove that you own certain assets or certain digital documents of whatever that may be that may be content that may be um a token one other thing that we've been working on peer fund is the next one and peer fund is going to be like the crowdfunding portion of purity so one of the big things that we wanted to do or that we set out to do from the beginning was have crowdfunding and so you're going to be able to use well you or communities are going to be able to use the purity token to raise money for whatever you want to raise money for we're trying to kind of uh allow people the benefits of having an ico but not just for crypto projects we want to money for all sorts of things so you're banned on purity and you have a bunch of followers that love your music um, well, I might want a new album or tour, and they can um, crowdfund that, or they can crowdfund art from somebody. They can crowdfund somebody teaching a class on how their community works. It's uh, there's a lot that can be done. So yeah, those are the uh, those are the things that we've been working on. Uh, aside from all of the other things that are going on, which is a lot of marketing. Today we actually just hired a new marketing guy. It's going to help us with our, uh, get all geared up for the ICO here. It's, it's gonna be a good one. It's gonna be, I can't wait for Purity to be up and running. I'm not talking about the ICOs. I'm, well, yes, the ICO is gonna be a good one as well, but Purity as a whole is going to be awesome and, uh, one more thing that I forgot to touch on that I, I wanted to bring up as well is, uh, you know, Brent's had this idea. So we've been dealing with Ethereum because that's how our, we're still built on Tendermint, but our crowdfund token is going to be an ERC-20 token. So he's been looking a lot into smart contracts and how they run and how confusing to the average person they are. And we want to make that something that's more simple and something that communities can use communities have they're gonna have a ton of different options but one of the if one of those could be writing smart contracts which it looks like it will be i think that that empowers community in a huge way not only just the fact that they can use smart contracts but that they, that they can understand them because a lot of people and new people and a lot of the people that we're kind of targeting for this they're not coders and so we easy for everybody to understand and use so we're calling that 
the smart contract portion of it, we're calling that handshake. And I think that that could be a really, a really big thing of a, a, a simple smart contracting um, language and system for people to use. So, yeah, I'll uh, open that up to questions. We're also, you know, just to be real quick, we've been working on getting listed on ICO websites, getting different listings up, and I think we're going to do a uh, a two part crowdfund as well. We, you know, we realize that we don't need. Oh, ding. Okay. So we realize we don't need as much money to get the product out. So we're going to do a smaller crowd fund, and then once we have something, do a bigger crowd fund, and that will be where we really build the site out more and more. So we just want to do a smaller one for the beta. So sounds like time's up. Uh, yes, it but is. thank you, everybody. Sounds like it's beyond up. So. Yeah, thank you guys, everybody. And um, anybody has questions, you can always reach us at the Discord. I can post the link here in a minute. And yeah, thank That's you. That's Purity Discord. That is correct. Purity Discord. Yep. And then you can also email me at forest at purity.io or any of the other team members at their first name at purity.io. Or info at purity.io. So I don't uh, want to take up everybody's time. Well, I'll go ahead and I will I will say that you guys finished the... It looks like you finished the crowdfund largely, but there are some still up on the market for... on the bit, Actually, on the BitShares exchange that people can buy into the peer crowdfund tokens. And it looks like there are people trading them uh, on the market as well on there. So if anybody wants to join up and do that... That is actually open for for trading. Now, really quickly, one of the questions that did come from the community members is about the private crowdfund to Beyond Bitcoin listeners. Is it completed? Just a quick yes or no will help. No. That is still okay. open and contact me if you want to get involved because that and that, that closes um another week. Okay. And how much is left? Because there was, it was pretty close to done the last um, time I checked with you. Yeah, I believe it. We did two million tokens, and we're probably three quarters of the way through. I might be wrong. And then whenever you guys list on ERC twenty, that's when you guys expect a lot more funds to come in. So um, you guys are giving them all a deal. And I will go ahead and I'll say thank you for joining up this week. Obviously, you're you're more than you guys are always more than welcome to give out tokens to increase time. But I believe that you guys are in a situation right now where you cannot do that. So is that correct? That is correct. Well, you guys have done a lot, so I'm not trying to pressure you into it or anything. I just wanted to kind of make clear that up for everybody why you're not getting extra time because this is a topic you brought you brought a loaded amount to talk about today and you will probably have multiple sessions that can be filled up with community questions in the coming weeks and I look forward to it, man. And I've I've been very um I've enjoyed working with you guys and talking to you guys about stuff too. You guys, you guys really are thinking. Yeah, the same we've lines. enjoyed it. Yeah, for sure. Just one more thing, real quick. The token is, if you buy it from the pre-crowd sale for the Beyond Bitcoin community, it's you can buy it at fifteen cents. And the last week, they're going to be going up to thirty or forty. So we haven't decided yet, but it's a great deal for you guys right now. So reach out. All right. Well, the, up next is going to be the Marky Mark, and he's going to be talking about Project Build a Whale and giving some updates on that. I will thank Purity, and I'll say that they were the ones who posted their coin this week, and they got uploaded. They got to number one prior to that, but they also they very much got a solid first place because of it. Next is going to be the Marky Mark, and he's working on Project Build a Whale. So go ahead and step up to the plate, buddy, and and let everybody know if you can a quick. Just a very quick, short overview of what it is and give some updates on what you're wanting to talk about today. All right, can you hear me all right? Perfectly. Awesome, because uh, I'm on the road here. Um, Build a Wheel <laughs> is a voting bot. That's how it started. And we added a curation and human aspect to it where anything that gets bidded on can become curated and show up in our daily diets. And we just released the... Uh, Ninth issue, I believe, is what uh, Chief put out this morning or 
earlier yesterday. So we've been doing daily digests that goes over what people have submitted and picks the best content. We're looking at expanding that out. We have over a thousand organic upvotes for that content so far in just under two weeks. So that's been picking up. We just hit over 300 followers for the Build a Whale. Our biggest thing right now is to find a sponsor, which I have somebody that might be interested, but we're working that out. We're trying to get to 100,000 to 500,000 team power so we can have a much bigger reward pool and take on a lot more people and expand it out to more digest and do a lot more with that. And that's our biggest hurdle right now is to overcome. The other thing I'm working on is some other, some gamification um, bots that will take advantage of playing games and prediction models and stuff like that, that will um, either happen through comments or through a different channel to allow people to participate in that as well, which is pure gameplay. If Chief has anything else to say, I was going to open it up to questions. Yeah, I was just going to talk about what we would do with the 1000 Beyond Bit, if we got it, and then also some information about the Curation Digest. First, we have, like you said, done nine issues, but it's actually been 14 pieces of content from those issues. About issue four, we went into two parts um, to give the authors 24 hour exposure. So we do it every 12 hours and we're doing this so that the authors, the first part is just kind of a quick knowledge about nuggets. It's what the other guilds do. So we basically do exactly what the guilds do for the first part. And then the second part, we actually build, give the um, feedback and comprehensive feedback that people want, you know, like three, four paragraphs that people, you know, the feedback they really want in part two. So it's been, you know, we got a lot of awesome comments. Uh, people are staying on Steam it just because of us. Um, that feels good because I know that happened with uh, certain people when we started writing too. So it's definitely good to see the cycle. The one thing we would do for the Thousand Beyond bit is right now, you know, it's cool that it's just getting started, but the articles that we nominate, it would be nice to be able to use Beyond Bits to vote on them. You know, some of them are older posts, which is cool because we don't really, we're not focused on the curation posts. Any, any person from any, uh, you know, post can be old as long as that person wants support. But we want to use these Beyond Bits to maybe vote on their current articles or if they're still available to vote on, do those uh, vote on with the Beyond Bits. Because what we're doing is I'll talk about a little bit more about points in uh, Community Casino. But we're going to introduce points with Build-A-Whale so the people that appear in these um, digests will get points. Um, and we want to tie the points to uh, Beyond Bit, at least use these 1,000. Maybe, you know, one point equals three, um, you know, beyond bit or something like that until we get it listed and then we can just go from there. So that's what we would use the thousand beyond bit for. We would use it to reward the articles right now by voting on them. And then we would also use it to start the points and get them used to it by tying them to it before they can get listed on bit shares. So are you guys, everything is getting built to automate this stuff or are you guys going to be doing this manually? The one thing about, the, well, I guess we can talk more about the, cure, the digest. That's why we're kind of doing two parts as well as we're getting the readership ready for more than one article from Builderware account. We're, the goal is to do eight to 12 articles a day from the Builderware account, but we just need the um, bidding window to go up. So we, get, we, we, we already are about four days behind in curation. We have too many articles to curate. So we're just waiting. We don't want to grow too much demand. So that's why we're kind of waiting for the next sponsor, the next bump up to expand to different curations. So we're gonna have a, a crypto curation digest every day. So it'll be for the five top article, articles there. And then we're also gonna have, you know, hell, all the major tags. And what uh, Marky Mark's doing is eventually, uh, we have a bot working that will just scan the transfer list of Build a Whale according to the tags, and then just send it to the, the right curators. So like the music, any, any article coming in with music will go to the music curator right in that digest. Same with tech. So we know this is only our second week, but we've done a lot of good, but we definitely want to automate it as much as possible as well to help with efficiency. Yeah. And you guys are saying the re one of the reasons I'm bringing it up is because you're saying when it's listed, like whenever you create the token on BitShares, I'm assuming. Yep. Or, that's the goal. Or, okay. Well, before I get with any further, because I have so many questions I, I can get into. Does anybody have any questions or comments from the community? Okay, where I'll go with this is this. I'm interested in curation and seeing these different experiments. What have you guys figured out as far as how you're going to get income from it? Is it going to be something like just from the bidding? And maybe you guys can give us some information on, on the bidding if that's, that's going to be the sole. Well, either way, really, if that's going to be the manner of it receiving income. Mark, Mark you want to talk about the, the bot uh, bidding window and possibly the trail? So what we're doing is the bidding is what keeps the uh, the bot with a steam power 
And right now it's right around break even or a little less, depending on um, what we're going to renew at and whatnot. So that's just keeping it having a valuable service for the people that are looking for immediate pleasure. The next part of it is the curation aspect. If you look at other curation like OCD, for example, they pull in um, three figures on their daily digest. And we're hoping to start growing that part. So that's bringing enough revenue to support that part of it in the curators and make everyone happy for that part. And then we're looking at building a trail that will follow the people that are curated. So we'll vote on it and we'll have a trail operator that'll start the trail. And then we want to get people on board to start following that trail to give more exposure and more benefit to people that are curated, but also to bring in curation rewards and stuff like that and build a revenue model from that. Okay. So one of the things that I'm kind of figure asking and I'm trying to figure out is, do you have like a model to project income from this? Um, and the hard thing is to, to model it against something that already has a lot of steam power delegated to it. And the reason I ask is, is not because I don't want to give tokens to it. It's more, am I giving tokens to it when it's not going to be able to turn them around and really capitalize on them as well as maybe if it was doing something else, which also brings me to wanting to talk about the gamification aspects that you're bringing in and how that might be able to make money. But uh, I'll go ahead and I'll, I'll let you answer the first question before I dig into everything else. I think with a large amount of steam power that the bot will start making profit and uh, start doing well with the curation rewards because the amplified voting power will increase the curation rewards significantly. Right now, we're making uh, 4 to $6 a day curation rewards, which helps get the break-even point and handle the uh, cost of the steam power, which is the biggest hurdle. And I'm trying to find a private sponsor that can do it out outside of the leasing we're currently doing, especially since middle uh, boost has just jacked up their price at 33%, and Smooth is very inflexible to deal with. He doesn't want to do anything outside of it. He doesn't want to spend time talking. I have a few other people that I'm looking at that I'm trying to get a dialogue open with. Some people, for example, that are self-voting and like destroying their reputation, at least this way they can get some revenue and, and not have to have any uh, effort involved and not damage the community by doing what everyone's frowning upon. The next hey, Mark, part how, is, Mark, Mark, how much are we making per day? It ranges anywhere from 20 to 36 for the bot, plus curation rewards. On the bad days, it's in the uh, teens to 20. On the good days, it's in the mid thirties, and then you have another four, three to six on curation rewards. I think one day we had like three and a half because uh, we got a D two video that was actually curated, which pulled in a big uh, two dollar curation reward. And the interesting thing about curation rewards is it's really funny because I've had a few people that have bid ten cents, in some significant cases uh, fifty cents, and it pulled in a dollar and a half curation reward because the post then grew up and did pretty well. So um, those are really nice and that helps a lot too as well. But on average, we're looking at about three to six, mostly around the four and a half range per day in the curation aspect. And if we go with the steam power we're looking at doing, which is 100,000 minimum, ideally 500,000, looking at five to 25 times that. Let me, uh, how much do you give out per day in funds to post? Right now, we're not doing any. We were posting a lot of Beyond Bits on the initial week to get exposure, and now we've been trying to grow it organically. Oh, I mean, I mean the actual earnings, that uh, cumulative earnings across all of the upvotes that you guys give out and all of that stuff. Oh, how much we're giving out to the end users? Yeah. Uh, so far, we haven't been doing a lot. We've been handing out some Beyond Bits. Uh, Chief has been doing that. And I've been upvoting anybody that comes through and whatnot. But uh, right now, it's been just exposure. It's just because we don't have the steam power and the uh, resources to make a significant diff difference there. Basically, using those, we want to use those upvotes eventually from Builder account to reward it. But we can't do that right now because it'll throw out the bidding window because of how small the window is. So once we get more steam power, then we can, don't have to worry about that, and we can use the actual voting to reward people as well. But we need those, this 1,000 to kind of prove it to the whales and the people get through that to the next to the next point. And I mean, the authors are really getting a lot of benefit already from the feedback, but it would be nice to give them some rewards too, because a lot of the stuff they write is epic. 
The goal is to have two accounts. Build a will is doing the automation and doing the bidding window. And any votes or anything that's done by, um, by that account would affect the end user product. And that's why we don't want to use that as a reward system. So what I want to do is have another account that can follow it, either be the trail operator that has steam power tied to it, kind of like Astro does um, and some other things. And that will be what starts the trail, but it also has some steam power to make a significant difference. So it's not just saying, hey, here's a zero cent up vote. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm good. I think a lot of people have been really happy just being featured because it's increased the exposure. Some of the uh, articles we looked at have gained significant um, upvotes and views when they're exposed through this. And a lot of people are starting to read this. We're getting a lot of organic upvotes, not the uh, trail or paid upvotes. Some of the posts have had 130 upvotes. And I would say about 10 of those were me bidding on them through bidding bots or providing things. But the rest of them were all organic. Hey, that's great idea, cool content type of upvotes and not the, hey, this is going to be financially profitable, let's upvote it. Um, I don't know exactly. How do you guys uh, measure that? You really can't, but we look at the comments. Like some of the ones have had like 50 comments on it and a significant dialogue okay. going on. And it's not just... So you can see that there's a, there's a large heart. It's not just a bunch of bots that are following you yes. uh, and saying... Because, man, I'll tell you right now, I get those all the time, and it's it's so frustrating. <laughs> One thing I notice is a lot of the, um, in the bidding window that I look through the transfers and stuff, I see a lot of the same people reusing the service. There's a significant group of people, I would say at least 20 that I know by heart, maybe 30, that use it on a daily basis. And some use it for um, quite a few times a day. So it's not something that people are using once and then forgetting about it. And there's a few people that are saying that this is their favorite bot. And because we're human and we, we respond, like you take um, Randall Whale, Daddy Bot, um, Belly Rub, any of those, and you do anything with them, you've pretty much thrown it in a black hole and you just hope for the best. But we've been responding and talking to people. And I have this like little meme I'm trying to start with the plush whale that uh, I post on when people post certain things. I'll post a specific picture, picture of a. Uh, well, that you can actually have designed on Etsy, it gives you the plans, and I thought it was cute, and I was trying to start that type of little symbolism. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in hearing more about this. You guys are at about 17 seconds left. Is there anything that if people want to help or participate in this project in any way, any way they can reach out to you to do so? Um, Discord is probably the best bet to get a hold of me, and then we can talk about any other way. We have a build a wheel Discord, um, and then we also have, um, we're on whale shares a lot. I can post a link for the uh, other Discord that we have that we're running, and it's a public Discord. People can join in the channel. And uh, if you kind of want to see the impact we're having, just read any of the comments on the Curation Digest or any of the articles we nominate, and that's really all you need to see. Yeah, people have been really expressive about it, which is awesome. And uh, one last thing to answer your question about the gamification. I don't have anything um, ironed out that I can talk about, but one of the things would be a prediction type of thing where uh, people can predict things, and then there's a pool that they get rewarded off of. And really then cool. I, I want to have this automated through either through like a bidding system where they can bid into it, and then it cuts out that way, or through comments where people can do public bids that way, and they'll automatically through, go to, through the comments and handle it that way. Kind of like how um, Community Casino does their hand where they post in the comments and they go through each week and go through them. So I want to have build a system that processes comments and do that type of thing to automate that and add some different games that way. Sounds cool. We, we can definitely talk a little bit more during the after party and then uh, also in other hangouts to come. I'm very interested in what you guys are doing. I would like to figure some more stuff out that I don't think that we have quite time to talk about today, but I will say one thing. I really hope that you guys consider the potential of using a coin to maybe even crowdfund to get SP. There's there's a lot of cool things that can be done, and I notice that you guys are both pretty big thinkers about this stuff. So it's it's good to see that, and it's good to see that you guys are trying some new things and that it's gaining some traction. Maybe a crowdfunder is a way of uh, leveraging people's unwillingness to do anything unless it's for money to get them to, to consider joining up and being part of it. Maybe even being able to earn those tokens by delegating steam power instead of buying things with them. 
but I won't get too deep into it because we've passed the 15 minute mark. However, I will say thank you for joining up and we will, I will gladly talk with you guys about this stuff in the after party. Let's go ahead and move on to Nutella, who's going to be talking about some of the stuff that he's doing in Steam It and Descent. And also he's talking about some cool things about the translations and of the content that we produce and also to get text translations of it and actual English text as well from various audio content. So with that said, I'll go ahead and I'll ask Nutella, are you available to talk? Yes, I'm uh, right here. Okay, cool, cool. I uh, just wanted to make sure. So what I'll do is I'll step back. I'll let you give kind of um, a quick summary and then any updates and open to community questions if you have time that you'd like to uh, put to that. Yeah, sure. So uh, I will explain some uh, stuff because the translation uh, was a bit uh, mystifying to, to me. With the translation, I think Quasi means uh, translating uh, the voices you hear right now uh, into text, right, Quasi? Uh, yeah, turning it from audio into text. Yeah, so right. So the thing is, uh, it started actually that uh, if you have a lot of content, uh, a big content uh, like audio, uh, like the whale tank itself, then it's uh, like hard to navigate through it and see there are now chapter markers or nothing. You can split files uh, maybe. But uh, so I thought like, well, why not upload it to uh, YouTube? and get their uh, automatic captioning service to translate for us. So I did some uh, some background checking, like what would be the best way. So I made a, a technical proof of concept, which actually uh, basically uh, listed uh, all, all the, like, the known services up to a point, like the, all the free ones. And uh, I made a post about that one. So let me see if I can uh, copy it here and paste it into the into the channel. Yeah. So yeah. Well, with that said, it it was actually uh, very easy to just grab the audio, uh, which I'm recording as well now, and and put it uh, to YouTube. Uh, there's a special uh, to uh, do it on a command line with uh, FFmpeg. Uh, FFmpeg is sort of like a, like a Unix tool, like you, when you have DOS or, or Linux or even uh, macOS um, terminal, you can just copy paste actually uh, the code. You know, and, and then you see like uh, minus input, like minus I, and then you put your uh, audio file into that and then minus I for the, the image. And with uh, one line of code, you can uh, make a movie out of uh, the uh, the output from the, the whale tank, right? The audio. And uh, so you don't have to like uh, click any, do any editing. Uh, which is actually better if you don't do editing because as it is the uh, you know uh, youtube doesn't make any any punctuation so uh, you cannot see immediately where the sentence uh starts and where it ends so that's pretty uh, like i'm saying right now like i'm this i'm that then you actually can listen to that or or you can in theory if youtube would like give us some markers like this or that, then you can say, ah, here is another, <laughs> the start of another sentence, right? If you do your best, yeah. then you can really make a good, a good transcript out of it, which is the ultimate goal, right? Because transcripts uh, can be navigated. If you have live transcripts, maybe you've seen Coursera, the site where you can uh, learn uh, all kinds of uh, topics, machine learning and, and all that. So, so they have uh, these videos and they have live transcripts. So you can see what's being said right now and you can click on the words if you haven't understood. And it's really great. So that's like a possible future uh, project. Um, let's see what I've, I've written something down. So yeah, uh, so uh, yeah, like I said, you get you could have like time markers, then you can jump to a particular topic. Uh, and so you don't have to edit audio, uh, you don't get enough segments. And, and you can also, if you make, if you post it on Steemit, you can put links to other posts for other segments of the whale tank. So people quickly can jump from one, one project to another. They want to invest or, or keep track of all the project because the information is going really, really fast. So let me see, I covered that. Yeah, so, well, to be actually, to be really clear, um, the thing is you have a lot of uh, high quality content, which takes a lot of time to do. And uh, I, for myself in the first uh, period being on Steam, haven't seen like really good rewards and I really put a lot of time in it. 
And I can imagine a lot of people have that too. It's much easier to upload a video and you will see like the text coming out of the video is, is, is massive. It's huge. And to edit that is also a huge, uh, a huge amount of work. So uh, the idea was actually to, to, to think about other time windows for curating some, some content uh, is, is really like for uh, like a Wikipedia article or, or something which is more lasting than a blog post. And thus, uh, if you put a lot of time in, uh, time in it, then you need actually like more time to earn some curation awards because uh, like me, I've also a lot of the time then, you know, something pops up and you think, oh, that's great information, right? And uh, you see uh, that, uh, you see that, that that's, oh, the creation period is already gone, you know, and you think like, oh, damn, they put so much time in it and you cannot even upload it anymore. So with that, uh, I crunched out a huge like uh, idea like oh we can have like uh, tracking the content and you can do this with digital fingerprinting and blah 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 and then I went looking and I found actually a project which will implement all that and it's amazing you know well we first have to see what's going to be implemented like we've just heard purity and when I hear purity I think like wow it's so much how can you guys like do all, all of that like first wait and see right so, um, but I found like actually a project called Decent. It's uh, it's it's uh, written like Decent, D-E-C-E-N-T, and uh, they have uh, offices in Armenia and uh, Slovakia, which is like close by, and and they have also offices uh, in, uh, in in Zurich and I think in another country. I don't know from my head right now. So, but I wrote them. I wrote to Slovakia, but because it seems like biggest development team is there. And I asked him like, hey, uh, I'm writing on behalf of the Steam community. Uh, if you know, this is partly build, built on the same technology, Graphene. Uh, I have this post, uh, I'll post a link uh, on, on the, in, in the message channel uh, uh, right away. But uh, so the question is, you know, how can you make more money? Because seven days being a musician and you have a new track, you cannot make money, right? So, and they reacted on it and they uh, said like, hey, that's uh, like a uh, really cool, you know, uh, you should come on by and, you know, uh, thank you very much for contacting us and we can schedule up a Skype call. Uh, yeah, we agree better to cooperate and com than to compete. And, uh, and considering the ge geographic proximity, I think it's the best we meet personally. Would you be available for a meeting in Bratislava in the following two weeks, right? So I was like, yay, <laughs> that's like pretty cool. And yeah, I'm copying uh, also uh, Maciej Boda, CMO and founder, and Martin Smolka, the head of project development. So uh, yeah, cool, cool, <laughs> cool, uh, cool updates, right? Yeah. So um, uh, with that said, I've already tried to uh, do a lot of, like a lot of proof of concepts uh, with regarding. Um, uh, adding some value to like the whale shares and 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 did some like what fuzzy meant translation. So uh, I actually I basically uh, edited the, the transcripts. I, I made sentences out of it, and it's a huge amount of work. So I'm looking at more automatization, which I already like partially did. And uh, so what what I d then did was to uh, there's now the truth about vaccines going on. And they have subtitles which you can download with, uh, for example, with YouTube uh, DL, uh, YouTube uh, minus DL. So uh, if you um, use that, you can like download subtitles, which you cannot do for the automatic ones, unfortunately. But uh, you, there's a way ways around that uh, too. So uh, what I did, like I, I downloaded the subtitles, I mangled them through some Unix uh, tools, uh, like uh, said and stuff I found on the internet, and then I get like really nice transcripts uh, out of it. So. Um, yeah, if we get better tools uh, or we find better tools like like YouTube and which can actually make sentences, I can really quickly make a post out of it. Uh, and, and of course, I will show uh, everybody how I do it so that people uh, so we can like really build the, the, the Steemit experience and later on uh, also host uh, elaborate content like like these audio files, not only on SoundCloud and, and YouTube, but on really decentralized platforms like Decent and uh, perhaps Peerly, uh, IO. Uh, with that said, uh, there's a, of course uh, a big problem, like who's going to pay and how is the funds being transferred? Uh, if you have looked at uh, DTube, which is like very popular, uh, I was like pretty frustrated with DTube because I've uploaded a lot of videos and they just don't, won't play back. So uh, without any person to really contact, uh, like I 
contacted this uh, he he I, I'm in danger guy um, French guy I think uh, there's an interview uh, with uh, Dan Dix and him uh, uh, also on DTube so I tried to contact him and uh, finally we got to the point yeah it doesn't support subtitles right <laughs> so so um, it's like useless to uh, to even try and uh, the video just won't load and uh, and but anyway getting back to the uh, to actually the monetization and and getting the funds and getting money to host the content and etc so that that will be a big part uh, and and uh, i would really like to have some input and some questions regarding the decent team when i will uh, interview them uh, or speak about this uh, over skype at first i think or, or maybe i will contact them directly over phone and 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 ask some uh, ask some uh, basic stuff so I'm prepared so we can like I don't have to be there a whole week but we can just talk about some ways to uh, to to do this to to get uh, some sort of interfaces going on uh, between like when you have bit shares you, you can send some money from directly from your Steam wallet right and but this this should be like automatic you click a vote and it should go somewhere like it in the case of you uh, DTube. So yeah, that's basically uh, basically the the idea. Um, I'm not sure like with the timing uh, because I have some I have to go to the dentist <laughs> in Holland, and uh, I don't know if I have like money issues. But you know, uh, the feeling I had uh, with this whole community, with the whale tank, and and uh, all this, it, it's so great that I'm just like I was. I'm just going to do it, and we'll see how we end up. And this this way is going very well uh, so far. So yeah, thank you, thank you all. Let me see. Yeah, so one tidbit, uh, funny thing uh, I can mention before the ding comes. <laughs> I tried to create my uh, user uh, initiated initiated assets. So I sent all my dollars, like eighty dollars, to uh, a Steam deposit I made on BitShares. So I was like, hey, why is it not coming? And I uh, went uh, uh, through a uh, um, post explaining how to do uh, the transfer and I just like stupidly uh, put like change it to Steam <laughs> and I was expected to get the, to, to, to receive dollars, the, the SBD, the Steam dollars uh, uh, on that account. So I used the code, the memo and everything and I was like wondering why is it coming. So be careful about that. Double check what you're doing. <laughs> so I still haven't made my user initiated assets on the BitShares uh, platform. So that's just kind of funny. I hope uh, I will get my money some back somewhere. I'm, I'm, I think like uh, I think it won't be a big problem but we'll see. Let me check if there's something else. I don't think so. Some questions you, you have for me? Well, we're about a little bit, we just have a very few seconds left, but I will say this, what you're doing is cool. I'm very interested in transcripts personally, uh, and what you're doing with it is absolutely awesome. I'm, I appreciate the work that you've given me. The only reason you probably haven't received any tokens is because every time I try to put in your account name, I don't think I'm typing it in right, or it's just not showing up in BitShares. So I know I'm doing something wrong because I know you have one, but we can talk about that offline. I would like to help you and see where you take this. Obviously, I distribute tokens to everybody at these Hangouts, but before I, I get into that port part and having everybody sign the guest list, can you tell everybody how they can contact you if they would like to work with you in any fashion? Yeah, so they can contact me through Steemit. I'm also sometimes on Steemit chat, so you can uh, mention me there and I will see it. Uh, my email address is 336915 at uh, protonmail.com. Uh, so that's like actually a Fibonacci sequence, like 3 plus 3 is 6, three, uh, 6 plus 3 is 9, and, and so on. So 336915 at, uh, at protonmail.com. That's my email address. Yeah, I'm Nutella uh, on Steemit. I'm also on Discord. I I'm sure you'll catch me. I'm I'm on Steemit a lot, so <laughs> yeah. Sounds good, man. Yeah, well, Dan always called it a good crab trap, and he designed a wonderful crab trap in Steam. I will not lie. If if it's if it's nothing else, I will say it's a beautiful, a beautifully designed little um, uh, game theory model that just so happens to make people want to stick around. It sticks. So with that said, I, I appreciate you joining up and we I will definitely talk to you behind the scenes about some of this stuff. And also this will be the time of the day when I give you guys all the guest book link to go ahead and fill out. And today's magic word is change because we are changing 
the days that we run our hangouts. And that is going to be Saturdays at the same time, but we're going to change it to Saturdays instead of Fridays. So when you're, uh, instead of watching your, or your Saturday morning cartoons, you should consider tuning in and make sure that you're careful on your LTMs and stuff like that. Because if you have an LTM, a lifetime membership to BitShares network, then you will get a lot more tokens that are distributed and i'll also make this this is a perfect time to let everybody know the more that you promote our hangouts and the rsvp posts for our hangouts and the more that we earn on those hangouts the more tokens i can in turn give away so i always want to make sure that everybody knows that the more that we get paid on our upvote hang on our posts a lot of that is not only going into building tools, but it's also going into helping upvote you guys and produce more tokens for you guys here within the Hangout. And this is just because I want to reward people who are helping and I want to give different kinds of help that sometimes are based on performance in other ways, right? So the more earnings that we receive, the more tokens I distribute. And with that said, it's uh, Nutella, you're saying how much more I give beyond bits based on the payout. So if I get $500 or if it's 500 upvoted to 500, uh, that's the pot that I pass out. Uh, sometimes I tend to pass out a little bit more just because I like all the people's projects who are joining up here, but it can't be always guaranteed unless we pay, uh, we get good payouts. I actually uh, meant the lifetime membership on BitShares. Uh... Oh, that change is based on the price, but I believe that it is somewhere around $150 right now. I might be off point on that, though, because the last time I checked, it was somewhere around there. And things do change quite a bit in BitShares pretty quick. So, but how many uh, tokens uh, you get and more if you for the lifetime membership? That's what my question, actually. Oh, it's actually you get like one tenth the amount of the tokens. Like extra. Uh, well, no, lifetime membership. What I do is I split them in half. And generally what I do is I split them in half and then I pass them out to the lifetime memberships like in a larger quantity. So like, let's say you have don't have a lifetime membership. You'll tend to earn like one token for every 10 that Talkinator has because he's got a lifetime membership. Does that make sense? Like he'll get 10, you get one. I, I cut the groups up essentially and the groups that have like I, I put more tokens in the pool for the ones that have lifetime memberships and the reason I do this isn't just to harm people it's actually to help incentivize people to not come on here with sock puppets because let's face it there are a lot of shady little people out there in this um, wild wild west fantasy ride that we're running on right so we have to be careful that we don't enable people to come on here with a bunch of sock puppets sign the guest list and be like oh you know i'm gonna get a bunch of tokens if you're gonna come on here you're gonna come on with 10 different sock puppets and sign up with every single one of them to get what somebody like talkinator gets if that makes any sense right that makes all the sense uh, and uh, we love you uh, fuzzy i think i can speak for all of us uh, <laughs> thank you very much for the the kind words bethelia is up next and she's going to be talking about community casino and I will say I appreciate what you guys are doing too. And it's very important to, I would like to just make it clear. It's every, it's very important that everybody maybe ask Bethelia some questions and consider her kind of an expert in some, in the nonprofit space, because that's what she's been doing for quite a long time. And I don't mean to put you on the spot with that Bethelia, but I do like to tell people in these hangouts and who are listening to these hangouts, when somebody comes on with a lot of experience in an area that we could always use help in because we're trying to, you know, we're trying to find the middle ground between the analog world and the digital one that we're slowly moving into. Right. And you people who are subject matter experts can help us transition a little bit more smoothly, I think. So with that said, I will step back and I will say thank you for joining up and please feel free to give your intro give a little summary of what you're doing, any updates, and open up for community questions. Absolutely. Can you hear me, Dave? Perfectly. Sweet. And um, if anybody has questions about nonprofit, I mean, at least in the States, I'd be happy to help. It is what I'm doing, like, forever, so thanks for that. So uh, we've been here a couple times now, so I think you guys understand our premise. 
we're all a, we're a community casino. We're into having fun, but our purpose is giving back to our community. We are growing exponentially, which is super awesome. Weekly, we have already been running a Thursday um, poker tournament on luxax.com. This week, we started running a satellite tourney to, to earn a buy-in for our tournament. And uh, I think we had like 20 people for our satellite this week. So that was awesome. What else? We have uh, partnered up with Voice Shares, who we met here, just like we did Bill the yeah, Whale. Yeah. <laughs> That's you guys okay. joking around. That's your fault. Uh, anyway, we we love those 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 people over there. They're amazing. And so they have um, been very awesome sponsoring our tournaments and all of our all of our games. So that's that's awesome. They uh, we've also been talking with them about they want to start a, a website um, and have a space for us on there. So that that could be great. We are in our third community poker hand, which is fun. And that one is up to, I think it's over 20 people is it, are, are signed up for that one this week. And I'm hoping to roll out fantasy football next weekend. So I'm going to make a post about it for this weekend. And then next weekend, we're going to do a draft and start that one. We're on here because we really need sponsorship. Um, right now, we're funding everything out of our own pockets, and I, I think I have like several dollars SBDs left. So um, we're really hoping that we can we can get the win win the whale tank and 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 sponsor more 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 games. So uh, I don't know. You guys have anything else to say, Nick or Chief? Nick, do you want to talk about how you give away uh, points in your uh, game? Uh, can you guys hear me all right? Yep. Well, um, I guess the idea, well, right now we're doing a leaderboard for poker, uh, community poker on uh, Steam, it, the contest. And the idea would be to eventually use a token also to represent a uh, leaderboard. And I believe Chief wants to work on that. So right now we, we're doing a leaderboard, so it's a week to week thing. So it makes it more interesting and, and keeps people playing. And this is just the, you know, the first step of, of many that we have to come. Um, like I, I said, in the weeks past, we, this is going to take a while, but the more support we can get, the, the bigger we can grow. And there's a lot of potential in what we want to do. And this is just the this is just the beginning, beginning, beginning stages to get some support. So if you guys, anybody's interested in helping and assisting or just playing, you know, come check us out. You can always check out the post on uh, at C Casino on Steemit. Uh, eventually, we'll have a website and eventually we'll have an online casino, but it'll be down the road. But anyway, so. Uh, yeah, points. Right now we're doing a leaderboard. I'm just starting to get it set up, hopefully automate it eventually. I'm still working on that stuff when I get some time. We would like to use a uh, points or point uh, pictures. Hey, Nick, talk about how they play the game. Talk about how they call, like the points, like you get one point for call. Explain that. Oh, okay. So basically in poker, you you know, every every uh, there's a flop, the turn, and the river. And you usually have to bet or just check. So in this game, uh, an upvote and a comment counts as a call. So what that does is helps build up a little bit of a pot and help pay back the fees that I've been, or the awards that I've been given out. But we're doing for the leaderboard, each upvote or comment, which is a call, is counts as a point. And then the winner gets a bonus points. And then anybody who also posts about the contests or about community casino gets bonus points too, and there'll be a of rewards and um, hopefully a token and all that at the end for the winner. Anything else you wanted on that, Chief? That's that's uh, and then the points right now. So the, the goal the goal is to get the points as a token, and all the points earned right now can just be transferred. But we the goal with using this with this thousand is to put two fifty towards uh, the current games and seven hundred fifty oh. beyond it to the new game. The old for the two fifty for the old game the, the current games would be. Um, to vote on the comments, to vote on um, different people's participation, and also to give people who do uh, participate some extra rewards. 750 would be to start the new game called People Poker, which is an astrology, numerology game where people provide their birthdays, and then other people will provide their birthdays and kind of talk about their life. And then we provide information on a daily basis, changing, that will tell them who they actually should be hanging, um, you know, with their life purpose. So the, what we're going to do with this is people are going to use the comments to kind of guess 
what other steamians they sh they should probably work with based off their intuition or maybe maybe based off research so they'll do comments uh responding to our people poker saying oh i, I think i should maybe Nick Noss would be a great person to work with because of this reason. And then we will actually, then after the comments are posted, we will have an update post with what the numerology, astrology experience with people poker is say what people you should do. So we will reward the people that are their intuition is correct um, with the Beyond Bits. I'm um, kind of like a voting scale, and the people who are wrong, we will still vote them, but we want to we'll explain why they're wrong or who they, who they maybe should be based off astrology and numerology because it's a, it's like a science. Um, it's just a new science, new age science, and uh, so that the people, and also on here, you, with, but a lot of people don't want to get their information out because it's a blockchain, and maybe they might be afraid. So by uh, putting your birthday up there, it's not too much information, but uh, we want to reward the people with Beyond Bits that, that are involved with this because finding out who you should uh, achieve your life purpose with is uh, kind of important, and we definitely would, would love to reward people to do that because that only will inspire more change. Just how like you put on this beyond Bitcoin, we I would, we never would have met all these people that we're doing stuff with. Um, so it's we just kind of kind of keep that momentum going. So we would use the 750 beyond bit to start that new game, People Poker, and then the other 250 to keep the existing two games going. And then any other questions would be greatly appreciated. You know, I I think that what will be helpful because the terminology is so difficult for a lot of newbies to this. I know it's kind of difficult for me to follow because of the, the difference in terminologies. And I'm not a, let's just say this. I'm the worst gambler in the world. I, I'm not a good person to like, you don't pe I don't play poker, I, <laughs> you know? Um, but uh, sometimes, sometimes you kind of have to almost have like an index where people can go through and they can go and look, uh, I mean a glossary of terms rather, where you go through and you read, this is the definition of this. This is the definition of this. Okay, now I know what they're talking about. But sometimes actually showing the actual process, like via screen captures, uh, is something that can really improve people's understanding of this. And maybe posting something about that, like the screen captures, and then bringing that in here too, so people can watch it, would give people who are within the Hangouts and even the ones who, you know, listen to the Hangouts, if you promote your Hangouts, your segment and post that stuff in there with it, uh, or just post that on on the forums or on Steam it, you can get a little bit more traction that way and get it to the point where the people who are surrounding you are actually kind of experts in the process as much as the definitions, which is kind of what you get, for, what you're going for anyway, right? The definitions are just a way that they can get there, like a yep, way to exactly. understand it. Yep, and usually, like you said, the gamification is the part that gets rid of the fear. Because, uh, I mean, it's really hard to meet people sometimes and, you know, tell them about your life stories and figure out your life purposes. So by gamifying this, you know, we, we kind of want to help that. But I think, like you said, we need to prove the concept. And I think that having um, some Beyond Bit will help that. Um, we need to have a game. We need to have this neurology game going. And if we get, and using this to get... You know, we only have to use a few on each post to get to the hot page. So, I mean, that's what that's the goal is to get to the hot page and then have people see it and actually participate in it. So that's what we would use it for. And then um, we want people to think, we want to test this game out. We want people to, you know, see how it will work out. So just like you said, by the next whale tank, we should have some screenshots if, you know, this, if everything works out and we can have a little bit to use to prove this game. Because it's kind of a, like you said, a hard concept and um, to understand. So we need to put it into action. So that would be uh, that would definitely be a lot helpful with the Beyond Bits. I I wrote a uh, how to play Texas Hold'em article. I can't find it right now, but I did write one <laughs> to just kind of explain the like you're talking about the the vocabulary involved. Yeah, that's one of the things that holds back um, because you know every area of expertise has its own almost its own uh, vocabulary <laughs> that you have to learn before you can really go any further into the conceptual uh, areas of of whatever niche or area that you're going into right so that's just uh, visualizing those things can sometimes help help us overcome that you know the the barrier of needing to learn all the words if you can kind of just see it in action uh, might be one of the easier ways of getting people on board, but I'm I'm very interested in uh, how Beyond Bits would bring value to this. As far as I mean, how I mean, how would it sustain itself, and would it be something that 
uh, Beyond Bits needs to be perpetually given? And do you have any numbers on that? Well, the goal would be to uh, not perpetually do it, uh, just get it to the point where when we have this listed on BitShares, um, you know, because VoiceShares got like got tied to Beyond Bit. So obviously that we would we would like to tie this points to his to voice shares, whale shares, um, beyond as many as possible to you know improve st uh, stability sure, for the sure. long term. Um, so we would just use the the ones you give us now to just kind of peg the points we give right now out, so that the people playing now have an idea. So like say they do upvote and they get maybe five points, then maybe that five points is worth fifteen beyond bit that we we you know we pay them out. So they also they get exposed to beyond bit, they download their wallet but they're also playing the game and they're also earning points through upvoting and participating. So this kind of little investment would be to just get us to the point when points is listed because um, we need to prove points as well. So this is kind of killing like 10 birds with one stone. So that's kind of where we're at right now. So it, it, the goal is just to get us to the point where it's listed on the shares and then it'll go from there. Okay. Yeah, I'm very interested in hearing about this because one of the cool aspects of what Beyond Bits is doing and why we're trying to get other people to create tokens is we realize that we could create entire token markets uh, between communities. That's that's why I talked in the earliest days of Steam about community coins and tag coins. And these these concepts are something that I think that we can do, but there's there's definitely other things that, that can be done with them. And each one of your use cases slightly uses a, a different... It has a different way of using them, right? But it's it's a lot. I'll 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 have to think about this one a little bit more because I, I almost have to choose between some of your projects at, per, uh, at 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 present because you guys have a lot of good ones. And how, let me ask you, how many tokens do you think you need right now? I mean, what would be a a fair amount to to get that accomplished? Um, for the new for the for the for this right now, community casino with the points. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Nick, how many participants do we have um, right now with the game, community game? Active for this week, we have uh, 23 so far. So we and we have about 28 to 30 in the weekly tournament, um, uh, in the other tournament. So that would be probably about 60 people, but maybe some, you know, are the same people. So maybe you know only 250 um, to get started, maybe for a week or two. But ideally, uh, the the thousand would be able to get the people poker started and also um, use it to get this started as well um, to the next level so and that would take you out how many weeks approximately for both of those to be able to show i would say you would uh, it would be two weeks the minimum to see real, real results but you'll see some bigger results after four okay and you're thinking how many a thousand total for two weeks for the for the month thousand. for the month oh, for the month okay well i will definitely talk to you guys about all this stuff behind the scenes however is there anything else that you guys would like to bring up or any community questions that uh, I can I can ask questions all day and I do tend to do that but I also have to remind myself that there's a group of people here who who are very competent in their own rights so feel free if anybody has any questions comments feel free to bring them up this would be the time to do so well before we even ask questions real quick I just want to thank uh, boy shares for the support and sponsorship and fuzzy and you everybody else who are here too for all you guys to support it means a lot for us to us so thank you i greatly appreciate you guys what we do is we want to help uh the projects the, uh, the builders in the ecosystem right we want to help them in a way where they can they can get at least what they need maybe not a whole lot extra <laughs> but you know if we if we're lean and we operate lean whenever we have abundance then we're a lot more effective with what we have right and i'm learning along the way with you guys so uh, it's it's fair to say that you guys are teaching us things. Uh, speaking of which, are you guys, uh, do you have any updates as far as the points? And, uh, well, I, I guess my biggest question is, what is the, the hurdle be between you guys currently making the points and and, and getting in, them out into the, the real world right now? Uh, <clears throat> the biggest hurdle is um, that the points, P-O-I-T-S, uh, which is the the, the brand um, is actually someone created it on BitShares already. So we've been trying to get a hold of them, or at least the team is, um, to see what we can do um, with that regard to that. So we actually were also talking, wanted to reach out to you and see if maybe you can reach out to that person as well, see if there's any synergy because it doesn't look like there's anything going on with it. They just have the token created. 
but we're willing to do other, you know, change it to point or whatever we need to do or points with a Z. Um, but we're waiting on that um, right now. I was thinking the points with a Z too, but you got to be careful. I wasn't going to say it out loud. I was going to whisper it to you. <laughs> but, um, <laughs> yes. Yeah, the reason I say this, and this is a lesson for everybody who's creating tokens, is uh, there are people who like to go out and they like to sit on these different namespaces just like you would a domain. Yes, they would squat, they, they call them squatters in this space. And it's like, there, there's a show, a comedy show about, um, fantasy football and one of the guys got super rich because he had, he, he went out and got Dallas Cowboys domain name and they ended up paying him, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars for it. And he gets rich in these kinds of ways. Like it's, it's funny, but there are people who literally they'll go out and they'll find a domain or in this case, a token on the BitShares network. And this is going to happen more and more as BitShares becomes more popular and more noticed in this, in the scene, right? You're going to have a lot more people sitting on them, whether they'll, whether they'll transfer them to you or not for a price, uh, I suspect is, I suspect it's possible. I'll, I'll definitely help you with that part too, man. Uh, if you guys, if I can help in any way, shape or form. So please, you know, if you have information where we can get in touch with them, you can give it to me during the after party and we'll get all that stuff figured out. I don't know if it'll help any, but I'll, yeah, try. I'll try. Yeah. Cause it's been probably damn near two weeks. So, I mean, I, we'd rather not wait. So maybe like, maybe this was a sign that we needed to just go with points with a Z, but I'll, I'll get that for you. Um, because, and also, to be honest, I mean, it really, with the Z actually kind of gamifies it more. It's more like, uh, you know, points sounds kind of more formal compared to points with the yeah, Z. Yeah. So oh, maybe, no. maybe that's, yeah, that's what we needed to hear. So, uh, that's funny that you say that. That's awesome. Thank you for that. <laughs> well, no, you're the one who said it. I just, uh, was thinking it ironically at around the exact same time. You just we had my consciousness. Mind. Well, you know, I, some people believe that humans have this, this, uh, ability that, we can kind of do stuff like that. I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> what do we, what do we Maybe know? Maybe it's just you know? a statistical weird, uh, statistical, huh? So what do we know? You know. Yeah, apparently we know something now, but I, I will say this. You guys have, uh, the, the 15 minutes has ended. You don't have your points created yet, obviously. So there's no power ups today because there's no token creators who are passing out today who are actually, who actually have tokens to pass out. However, I will gladly give out some tokens, uh, some Beyond Bits to the people who attended today um, based on the the payouts that we received. So you guys can all look forward to a little share drop of Beyond Bits. And I thank you guys and, of course, everybody. I thank you folks. Uh, maybe I should say that since I'm in the South America, uh, South of Southern United States now. You folks, uh, uh, I, I appreciate y'all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> y'all watch out y'all for joining up every every week and i want to explain explain something really quickly to everybody that organic real growth takes time it comes in waves and you know the cool thing now is now that we're getting these types of things done we can start really merging projects and we can start networking and we're seeing the building of things that will help us in a journey that we haven't quite seen the entire map on yet right as a matter of fact i suspect we're going to unlock an entire new uh expansion set for this game that we're in <laughs> but i look forward to going through this with all of you and trying to help along the way as i can and with that said we'll see you guys all next week on saturday our new day same time but saturdays we we hope that that'll be a little bit better time and please reach out to Wales and please reach out to those people in Steam it and let everybody know what's going on with, with Whale Shares and Beyond Bits and how they help you. Because there are a lot of people on Steam it who tend to forget all the good things that we are doing with these tokens and tend to spend all their time making really negative content about what we represent and what these tools actually are used for most often. Sure, there are people who will abuse any tool, but I want to make clear that all of you are some of the best advocates for teaching people the value that these tokens bring. So please consider doing that. Please consider letting other whales know the good things about this, because I assure you they are hearing the bad ones. And also let them know that we've opened this up for them 
too, to potentially be able to join this hangout as a whale uh, council member. And someday, if we do it right, if something happens to me, you guys still have the whale tank, and it's a decentralized kind of thing, if we do it right. And that's what I, you know, what I'm trying to do right now. We're trying to get that in line, and I, I actually think a lot of you guys have the potential to have a very big role in that. See you guys next week on Saturday. And let's go ahead and enjoy the after party. You've been listening to the Beyond Bitcoin Well Tank. As a reminder, our Well Tank Hangouts start every Friday at 3 p.m. Universal Time. Be sure to follow the Beyond Bitcoin tag on Steemit, as well as our Hangout host, Official Fuzzy, for the latest Well Tank updates. From all of us here at the Beyond Bitcoin Well Tank, we want to thank you for being a part of the discussion.